presents unique and dangerous challenges. That terrain is brutal. There are plenty of homes and businesses nearby, and of course, I-70 is a vital route for truckers and travelers. Alan Janae looking at those obstacles. Alan, a tall task to get a handle on this one. Absolutely, Jim. Good point there. And, you know, I-70 is, of course, a lifeline through the mountains for Coloradans and a lot of other folks as well. And Glenwood Canyon has always been a special challenge. They need the goods and services to go there and to come back. And, of course, it's important for tourism. Now, firefighters tonight are trying to keep this fire away from the Shoshone hydroelectric plant. But there's even more reason for concern than that. As flames and smoke fill the canyon, the immediate worry is the biggest, people and property. We know we have a real situation here, and it's serious. Um, this fire is, is in a really tough spot, and it's really tough to fight. While there have been no losses yet, fire managers are looking at the potential of evacuating parts or all of Glenwood Springs if the fire crosses no-name trail. It hasn't crossed the trigger point to fully evacuate, put evacuation orders for East Glenwood. And because of fires across the country, not every resource is available. It's picking up nationally, so we've got to get in line a little bit, but um, it's a high priority. Every minute I-70 is closed means a cost of its own. People are impatient, including some truckers shown in photos on Independence Pass where they're not allowed. Authorities have now closed the pass until further notice. Even when I-70 does eventually reopen, there's fear of this. You do run the risk of mudslides, increased sedimentation, that sort of thing. Which could also end up in the Colorado River. That can potentially affect aquatic organisms and, and that sort of thing, you know, and it's all at this point we just really don't know. Well, you know, it really depends upon the heat of this fire. In areas where the fire is hottest, it tends to burn the roots out of the soil, as well as the organisms that can help keep it there. But Jim, they're not going to be able to get a look at that until this fire is out. And with 0% containment tonight, that is a long way off. In Morrison, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Uh, Alan, thanks so much. Right now